I don't think there were 10 people outside the state of North Carolina who had ever heard of Michael Jordan. Over 200 players go through this camp who have played in the NBA. The perfect example is Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player ever to play. Before he came to this camp, only two schools were recruiting him. One day in this camp, Michael Jordan exploded onto the scene, and then from there, it's nothing but history. But see, that's what this camp is about. You nervous? No. You should be. <laughs> Summer, Michael Jordan had attended our basketball camp at uh, Carolina, and I thought he was just fantastic, to say the least, and not too many people knew anything about him. And his high school coach uh, said he's going to go to, would like to go to another camp. We've made a call to a five-star camp and a call to BC camp down in Milledgeville, Georgia. And I said to him very easily, really, that uh, uh, Coach Harry, his name is Clifton Pops Harry, and I said, Coach Harry, from an individual standpoint for a young man to improve his fundamentals of the game, five stars as good as you can possibly be. And he talked to the mom and dad, and then the next night we talked again, he said he's definitely going somewhere. And so I said, well, then he should go to five star coach. Anybody wants to be a great basketball player, you have to have a great foundation, and it starts with the fundamentals, and that's what's the best that ever happened at Five Star. So then I called uh, Howard Garfinkel, who was a good friend, and told Garf that uh, uh, this kid wanted to come, and he was really good, and uh, I think that they would like him. And uh, so uh, Garf uh, sort of took it from there. Brendan Malone was one of our resident coaches, and his lovely wife, Maureen, was in a moped accident. That's a what is it called, you know? And she was in, she was coming out of the hospital the day the camp opened. And Brendan Malone was going to be late. He could not come to tryouts or the draft. We had a we had tryouts and then draft team to stay up to three in the morning. He asked Tom Kinchowski, now the editor and publisher of HSBI Report service in the country to draft his team. Now, apparently, in a prior, the year before, uh, Aubrey Sherrod and Greg Dryling, two superstars from Wichita, Kansas, was on Brendan Malone's team and they won the championship. And they were both coming back as rising seniors to this week. So Brendan Malone calls Tom Kachowski and says, would you draft, always works the camp you know, every week. Can you draft my team for me? Make sure if you get the first pick, like I got last time, if you get it, the first two picks, get me, I want Dryling and I want Sherrod. Get me those two players. So comes the draft, we have the tryouts. Jordan is unbelievable in the tryout. So one, so one possession was all over. Uh, he gets the first pick. Tom does. He takes driving, great driving, great play. Comes around for the guard. Centers next bar. He takes Mike Jordan over Aubrey Chabot. Brendan Malone shows up the next morning. He says, did you get me those players? And he looks at him and says, he sees driving. He said, who the hell is Mike Jordan? And he didn't say hell, okay? He goes ballistic on Tom, but not taking Sherrod. Bottom line, Brendan Malone wins the championship again. And the rest is history. At the end of the week, he, uh, I think he was the one-on-one -on -one champion. He was the MVP of the All-Star Game, the most outstanding player of the week, uh, the scoring leader of the week. And Garf talked to him uh, about staying the second week and I think made him a waiter, which he had to clean the plates off the tables and things like that. And the rest of it's pretty much history. You know, BC camp in Milledgeville, Georgia was good, but it was more just competition so you can be uh, seen. Uh, they played games, 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 games where at Five Star the games were important, but the most important part of the Five Star camp was the teaching the fundamentals. They had wonderful coaches there. They emphasized the individual improvement of each player, and, and I just thought it was extremely important for uh, anybody to have that, but I just, 
I thought I saw, the first day I saw Michael Jordan, I told Eddie Fogler, our other assistant, that I just saw the best six foot four inch high school player I've ever seen. And so I thought he had tremendous potential. Now in saying that, there's no way that Roy Williams knew he was going to do, <laughs> let's get this straight, there's no way that I knew he was going to do what he did. But uh, uh, I just thought that working on the fundamentals and becoming even better there is going to make you a better player.